So we just labeled the periodic table. We're going to use the U.S. way primarily. Certainly uh, you need to be aware of the three different labels, but let's talk about naming the periodic table. So again, I'm going to be using the U.S. way here. All right. And let's take a look at it. 1A, group 1A, family 1A is the alkali metals, the specific name for them. And here they are. We're talking about... Whoops, uh, let me just go back here. Previous, I was on the wrong. Um, so we have lithium, sodium, potassium, cesium. I should probably put them in order. Rubidium, cesium, and francium. All right, so those are the alkali metals. You see that on top we do have hydrogen. Hydrogen is similar in a lot of pro uh, properties. I shouldn't say properties, similar to the alkali metals in some uh, aspects, um, but we don't consider it a metal, of course, hydrogen. So there's your alkali metals. The next, the alkaline earth metals. The alkaline earth metals, group 2A, uh, starting with, and I'm just going to list them out, beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, and radium. Beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, and radium. So those are your alkaline earth metals. We're going to talk about some properties of those as we move along. Group, or the B's in the U.S. way, are called the transition metals. Okay, the transition metals. Now, the ones below the F block, we call those the inner transition metals. And I do want to mention that quickly as well. So, F block are your inner transition metals. Okay, inner transition metals. So that's group the B's. Um, groups 3A through 6A, and again that's in the US way, so on the in the P block, it's the name of the top element family. So for example we have boron family. It doesn't have a specific cool name like alkali metals or alkaline earth metals. Boron family, carbon family, oxygen family, uh, excuse me, nitrogen family, oxygen family. Those are 3A through 6A. Um, and lastly, the, or I shouldn't say lastly, 7A halogens. The halogens are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine or iodine and astatine. So those are your your halogens. And lastly, your whoops, noble gases. Noble gases are the furthest to the right and of course the noble gases are your elements like helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon and radon. Okay? So those are the names of the, the, the way that we name the families. And then of course just a good taking, you know, taking a look at the, um, all the elements in each whoops, family. Let's, uh, let me get rid of this. I just want you to see the periodic table again. Uh, we are going to be expecting to know most of the elements. I, I, I certainly don't want to say that I want you to memorize the elements. But if I go to um, the previous slide here in slide 5. Notice the elements here. We're going to certainly expect you to know these in the D block. You should know all the S block, all the P block, and then recognizing some of the more common ones in the D block. Um, silver, gold, mercury, you know, zinc, copper, nickel, cobalt, iron, manganese, uh, chromium, vanadium, titanium and scandium okay so yeah you know just we'll have plenty of opportunity to see and use all these elements okay so those are naming